All right, welcome back, guys. Today we have another hot sauce review. Settle down, Harley. Gonna be right? You excited for the hot sauce? <laughs> okay. So we're back with another hot sauce review. Um, I'm laying off. Harley's very excited today. I'm let him get settled. So I'm laying off the spicy challenges this month because I was invited back to Coney Island for the fourth year in a row. Very excited. Uh, I say invited because the first two years I went, I qualified. Last year, there were only five men and five women that were invited to compete. This year, my understanding is there will be 18 men and 10 women. So it should almost feel normal again with, you know, minus the, the qualifications, but yeah so let's get into this today we have a hot sauce called booty time which i bought because the label is adorable i love a pun so obviously this has ghost pepper in it the booty is spelled b-h-u-t-y so it must be uh, but Jalopia. This is from Voodoo Chili Sauces and Salsa, which is out of Leesburg, Virginia. And the ingredients are tomato puree, water, red wine vinegar, sugar, ghost pepper, Himalayan salt, onion, garlic, Thai chili powder, thyme, hence the booty thyme, um, ascorbic acid, citric acid, basil, and oregano. So that really stood out to me as well with this sauce. Uh, it's got basil and oregano. It sounds like it would be great on Italian food, so we are going to try that in a bit. But first, let's see what the sauce is like. And I did over-caffeinate myself again today. Oh, oh and I've got a new t-shirt. So you've probably seen uh, Bella from Heat 101 and Nuff from Main Event Pong have the Hunky Boys t-shirt from the Psycho Gorman movie, uh, but Nuff thought I should get this one, so I did. And I love it. And my daughter loves it too. Okay. Let's see. I'm wondering how thick this is going to be. Oh. We might have to get a chopstick. Let's see if it'll come out. It's got that nice clump at the top. Ooh. Kinda. It is thick. Hold on. I will be right back. Okay. Oh. Uh, might not be too bad. Let's just get that down in there. Mmm, it smells like basil and oregano. I can't get it out, there we go. It's so thick. It almost has like a um, apple butter consistency. Yeah, it smells like a pizza sauce. I think it's gonna be good. All right, let's check it out. Yep. It has a good heat from the ghost pepper. I'd say maybe a three or a four. Pretty decent. Um, but yeah, it tastes like pizza. So let's try it on food. It's my favorite thing to do. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention for this hot sauce company, you know, everybody has their different heat levels. So this has five chilies on it and it says it's a four out of five. Fair enough. Oh, that's cute. It says shake that booty. 
and I didn't read about it. Okay. So yeah, in the description it says, now this is a zesty Italian sauce with an infusion of one of the hottest peppers on planet Earth, the infamous ghost chili, aka Bacchilopia. This savory sampling of sheer sauceness will have you shaking your booty in unmitigated delight. Seriously, this sauce will make your face that happy. I think so. This could go in a lot of things. I was actually gonna try it on pizza originally, um, but last night we made caprese sandwiches. So ciabatta bread, basil pesto, fresh basil leaves, tomato, and fresh mozzarella. And I didn't actually get to have one of these last night because I did a hot dog training run yesterday. So let's try our sandwich first. This is delightful. Absolutely delightful. Okay, let's see if we can even pour this out in here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's sort of as a consistency of apple butter. It also reminds me of like a thick barbecue. Oh wow, that was that was quite a bit. And I got some on the table. Okay. Mmm, little bit. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That goes really well together. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is the best lunch I've had in a while. I do wish it wasn't quite so thick, though. I like a thick sauce, but you all know I get irritated when... It's this challenging to get out of the bottle. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's been pretty warm here lately. So last night I was looking for a dinner that didn't require any cooking. So this is what I came up with. Mmm. Oh. oh, whoa. Whoa. I have to spread that out a little bit. So I'll post it to my community page, but I recently did another collab with Val from Trippy Foods, and I tried durian for the first time. Not fresh durian. I have actually purchased that before, but it molded like within a day, and I wasn't able to eat it. So I tried a freeze-dried durian, and these durian crackers that I found. So uh, check that out. Like I said, I'll put it in my community tab so you can easily find it. But if you're not subscribed to Trippy Foods, you should. Hmm. But funnily enough, one of the comments in the comment section for this video was criticizing me for my trophies, making fun of me for not growing up and hanging on to high school trophies. Those are not high school trophies. I think I got one trophy in high school. I usually say I never got any trophies, but I remember today I do have like a tiny one um, I won Best Actress in 2000, yeah, in the year 2000. So I think that's the only trophy I've ever gotten other than my competitive eating trophies. And uh, I explained what they were, the guy proceeded to tell me that when I grew up that I would realize I didn't have room for trophies and that the memories were just as good. Absolutely agree, they're just things, but I do have the space for them. Everybody has a, a different amount of living space. I'm fortunate enough that this is just my office and I have plenty of room for them. So there's no reason for me to get rid of them. But yeah, I made a lot of assumptions. I think about my age, said that I would figure it out once I had kids, which for those of you that watch me regularly, know why that is so funny. Well, I've only been a mom for the past 16 years.
Hmm. Anyway, I mostly find it amusing. I don't know who some of the people on the internet were raised by. But it's like, who taught you to talk to people in that way? And what are you compensating for that you feel the need to judge or put value on how grown someone is? I mean, even if I was in my early 20s, yeah, who cares? Why, why do you think I need your advice? It's one thing if somebody asks for advice. I would never do that to a younger person. Hmm. Anyway, outside of that, it was a fun video to do. Somebody else commented that I looked bored, which I apologize for, I was not bored. Val's just a really chill dude, and I tend, uh, I tend to be pretty even keel, so I think it was just a chill video. Oh well, you either like it or you don't. But we had fun making it, I think. Oh, I didn't even look. Oh, okay. Five calories per teaspoon. That makes sense. I mean, it's a tomato-based tomato sauce. I'm so happy right now. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know everybody that's going from like the women's side to Nathan's, but I know my friend Jocelyn already got invited, so it'll be great to see her again. I know a lot of you guys, uh, watched our live stream where we did the hot dang bites and people really seem to like her energy so maybe we'll have to film something while we're out there and our buddy tesh is going to be there too <clears throat> so our <clears throat> second year at coney because tesh and jocelyn and I, our first year uh, was all the same in 2018. So our second year in 2019, um, we actually got an Airbnb together for the week. So much fun. So it'll be great to see those ladies again. Yep, if you haven't had a caprese sandwich, I highly recommend it. They're so easy to make. So good. This hot sauce is fire. I kind of knew it was going to be. I'm loving it. Mmm. I could see putting that in just like a regular sandwich or a wrap. To add some more flavor to it. This of course is already really flavorful and the ghost pepper just ramps it up but I mean you can make a super basic turkey and cheese sandwich and put that on there. Hmm. Let's put some on our cucumbers. <laughs> Mm. 
yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. I feel like I haven't been posting as much to my channel. But if you've been looking at my community page, I have been collaborating with a lot of other people. So I'm filming, I'm just like on other people's channels. I did a video with Molly Schuyler recently. And of course, I'm on Nuke Chili Heads pretty regularly. Mentioned I was just on Trippy Foods. Um, I can't think of what all else, but yeah. Mm. It's not as great. <clears throat> on the cucumbers, I have to say. I'm not sure why. I mean, it tastes really good. Uh, I just think the cucumbers would be fine without it. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks for having lunch with me, guys. Another hot sauce to put in the fridge. I actually can do quite a few reviews right now because my hot sauce shelf is looking a little sad. So there's definitely room for them. But yeah, if you like Italian food, if you're a fan of basil and oregano, and you want kind of like a medium heat sauce, get yourself some booty time. Shake that booty. And with that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I am hoping that you have a great day. Bye.